What's up, flamethrowers? It's me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and welcome to a very special thing we like to call MTV Cribs. Soik! I'm kidding! <laughs> Had to go in there for a minute. I'm not trying to get sued. I'm not trying to get sued by MTV. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Okay, but all seriousness, guys, this is kind of like an MTV Cribs. But because today, the princesses are going to be showing me my new castle. Oh, by the way, uh, speaking of the princesses, I am here with them. Of course, I am here with Princess Celestia, Princess Luna, Princess Cadence, and I'm also here with Twilight. <laughs> Go ahead, ladies, say hi. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> Glad that all four of you can make it. And I'm really, really excited to see my castle. You guys told me that you guys upgraded it a little bit. Yes, we did. After when you became prince, we decided to upgrade your castle a little bit. Yeah, because believe it or not, guys, <sighs> my old castle that was here, it was kind of weird looking. Okay, in all truth, okay, in all truth, guys, I actually lived in the uh, rubble of the uh, castle that Princess Celestia and Princess Luna grew up in. Yeah, I kind of lived there. Yeah, just sleeping outdoors and stuff, but it's okay. <laughs> because luckily, while I was there, I had a protective shield and everything. I kind of m modified it to, uh, you know, be comfortable for me. And yeah, but luckily, thanks to the princesses, I was able to move out of there and into this new castle that I'm really, really excited to see. Well, Flame, you don't have to be excited anymore because here it is. No way! That's my castle? Mm-hmm. Your new castle. Wow. I'm not gonna lie. This is amazing. I'm not gonna lie. This is amazing. I love it! And Twilight, it kind of looks like your castle. That's the point. You see, each of us, we all contribute to, e to one room. Well... Just a few rooms, and, <laughs> believe it or not, some of them are exact copies of rooms around Equestria. Oh, really? Yes. We thought maybe you can be more comfortable knowing that you're in familiar places. Ah, oh, well, that's cool. Thanks. Well, let's go on in and check them out. Let's go on in and check them out. Okay, let's see. What's the first room? Whoa. Is that my throne room? Yes, this is your throne. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, it looks great. It looks great. I like it. I really like my throne too. Instead of just <laughs> having and just uh, instead of having a chair, I got pillows. It's awesome. Hang on, let me take a seat in it. <sighs> this is awesome! I love this! I really love this a whole lot. And Luna, Celestia, I can tell because your logos are here, you guys tribute to the, t to the uh, throne, didn't you? Yes, we did. We're guilty. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, girls. Uh, thanks a lot, girls. I really am happy. I love the throne. I love it. It looks great, and it's comfortable, and I can just feel the power just ruling Equestria with an iron hoof. Sight, no, I'm kidding. You know I'm not going to be doing that. <laughs> but overall, I like it. I really, really like it. I love this throne. It feels nice. Flame, you got to come and check out this room. Oh, coming, Twilight. <sighs> yeah, okay, let's see. What is this? Uh, um, Twilight, why does this room kind of look like uh, uh, Rarity's Boutique? Well... We know how much you like making clothes, so I thought maybe you can have your own boutique. Well, not boutique, but studio. Oh, I get it. So this is where I'm going to be making my clothes and stuff. No wonder it looks like Rarity's uh, boutique. Yeah. <laughs> After all, you and Rarity, you two can actually work together in here. Well, that is true. Over in Manhattan, I do have a large warehouse of fabric and stuff. Because if I remember correctly, E.G. E. Rarity definitely does run out of uh, 
fabric every now and then. I got all sorts of different types of material, from silk to cotton to mithril to all sorts. Wow, I can't wait to see that warehouse. You'll love it. <laughs> it's kind of crazy and big, but you know, it's kind of crazy that, you know, I have like a whole mess of fabric. I brought them over from Mobius. It's uh, pretty crazy. <laughs> anyway, uh, so what's another room? Let's see. Um, let's see down the hall over here. Ah, here we go. Whoa. Wait a minute. This kind of looks like the guest room over in your castle, uh, Celestia. Well, believe it or not, it kind of is. This is your room. My room? Yes. Wow. <laughs> it looks nice. I like it. It looks really nice. <laughs> I mean, with a little few hair in there, with a few Mobian touches and everything, it looks pretty good. I like it. <laughs> and besides, as long as Twilight doesn't have that thing that was inside this room, um... Um, what were you talking about? Okay, well, believe it or not, when, uh, Starlight Glimmer, she went on her, uh, she went on her friendship, she went on her friendship problem mission to, uh, the, uh, to Canterlot, remember? And, uh, believe it or not, and believe it or not, there was a ballerina statue right on that table over there, and, <laughs> Twilight... Well, to tell you the truth, I used a spell that sent a spirit image of me over there to take possession of the, uh, <laughs> of the statue, so that way I can also check in on Starlight whenever something goes on. And it was kind of crazy. Wait, when did this happen? Oh, that was the day when Starlight Glimmer switched you and Celestia's cutie marks. Oh, yeah, that. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> oh, man, I'm not gonna lie. That day was definitely crazy. I'm not gonna lie. That day was definitely crazy. I mean, the day you two switched cutie marks, that was definitely crazy. That was hilarious. But I'm not, but I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. I'm just saying it was pretty crazy, though. But hey, at least now you two understand how much um harder each other's lives are because it's uh pretty insane but again twilight you better not be doing that trust me i won't yet what was that nothing and you better not teach that spell to any other unicorn either please because the last thing i need is for when i get done taking a shower for rarity or you or starlight glimmer or whatever <laughs> standing right there looking at me because trust me i don't want that Trust me, that's not going to be happening. Yeah, I hope not. Because that's just creepy. Don't want no peeping, don't want no peeping toms up in here. Um, what's a peeping tom? Oh, you guys don't know that. Basically, a peeping tom is is somebody who looks at you and you don't want them to look at you. Basically, they're kind of all sneaky and they're always peeking at you and uh yeah, it's kind of creepy and disgusting, but it's uh I'm not going to go into too many details about that. Let's continue on with the room tour. Let's continue. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Um, Cadence, isn't this your room? Yes, this is my room. Um, so why do you have a bedroom of... Why do you have a copy of your bedroom in my castle? Well, it's just in case if, you know, I want to spend the night here. Oh. Well, tell me this. Have you ever spent the night over in... Uh, Princess, uh, in, uh, Princess Celestia's castle? Yes, many times. And same thing with Luna and Celestia. They stayed over at my castle. Yeah, and there's been times where Cadence actually stayed in my castle, too. Oh, so I guess it is only appropriate for you guys to have your own rooms. Wait a minute. Hold up. Princess Celestia, Luna, Twilight. Do you guys have your rooms in here, too? Well, yes, we do. Okay, let's check them out. Okay, well, here's Twilight's room, obviously. An exact, it's an exact copy of your bedroom, Twilight. Well, yes. I mean, come on, look at it. It looks cute. Okay, well, I do have to admit, it looks really cute, and it's well-furnished. 
It looks nice. And wow, they really, wow, you guys definitely did make it a good copy. I mean, look at it. You even got the pictures of you guys on the mirror over there. It's an exact copy. Wow. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Well, it's, it's really nice in here. I like it. I like it. Anyway, let's see the next one. Let's see. Whoa. Uh, this bedroom is something. This is, wow. Uh, wait a minute. Hold up. Two beds. Uh, princess. Hang on. Celestia, Luna, is this bedroom for both of you? Mm-hmm. You see, we may sleep in separate rooms sometimes, but there are still times where we like to relive the old days, you know, where we used to sleep together. And so we decided to build this room so that way we can just spend time with each other, even at night. Oh, I see. Well, that's definitely kind of something. Yes, even though I'm not much of a daytime pony, I still manage to get a few nights of sleep. Oh. Well, that's good to know, I guess, Luna, because honestly, I know you do have a big, big, big responsibility, you know, making sure the moon is up straight and everything and all that other stuff. I know you have a great big responsibility for it and stuff. Yes, I do. But since you have some of my magic, I think that job will be okay for you. Oh, well, every so often I will be able to raise the moon. And yeah, maybe the sun. Don't push it, Flame. Okay, 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 I'm sorry. Anyway, let's see some other rooms. Let's see. Oh, Luna, here's your room. Wow. Really, uh, night-esque. Well, I am the princess of nighttime, if you forgot about that. Of course I didn't. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it looks really good in here. And <laughs> it's an exact copy of your bed. Um, the moon bed and everything, the curtains drawn back, even got the wallpaper and everything. It looks really nice. Really, um, <laughs> nighttime. Again, princess of night. Okay, sorry. Well, let's, and I'm guessing the next room is probably yours, Celestia. Mm-hmm. Take a look. Okay, let's see. Wow, I'm not gonna lie, your room is definitely awesome. You know, to tell you the truth, whenever I'm at your castle, I really do like, I really do like coming into your room, cause it's just so nice looking. I'm not gonna lie, it's a whole lot more nice looking than your throne room. <laughs> well, yes, everybody knows that the uh, royal chambers are the most, n most well used room in all of the castle. <laughs> yeah, of course, because you never know when you'll be just, you know, lying in it all day or just you know just sitting back chilling and all sorts of other stuff because you're too comfortable to get up <laughs> well yes there's been times where i have been too comfortable to get up so i just lie in bed sometimes but i do know i have to get up to raise the sun every evening well every dusk <laughs> After all, raising the sun and moon is a lot of hard work. And Cadence, I know making people love each other is a lot of hard work too. And Twilight, I know that, you know, helping people, helping ponies with friendship is also hard work too. You have no idea. <laughs> After all, all the friendship problems and stuff we solve. Yeah, it's uh, pretty insane. But I'm not gonna lie. You guys definitely have it in the bag. It's kind of great. Ugh, oh, man, if only things were that easier on Mobius. And trust me, they're not. We, ha we, we literally have to punch the living daylights out of each other to get people co to come to their senses. Oh, my. It's okay. Knuckles, he actually learned his lesson. Same thing with Shadow. Because those two, uh... Okay, well, but anyway, let's see some more rooms. Let's see. Oh, um... There's another bedroom, but what's this? Actually, Flame, this isn't actually a bedroom. It's actually a lounge room, just for you. Oh, I see. It's kind of like a den for you. Oh, well, that's nice. I mean, just have a little, like, bed right here, or whatever this is on the floor, a bed. You just sit back, relax, just, just sit, just, just, you know, just lie there by the fireplace and everything. It's just really nice. I think I'm gonna like it in here. And of course, I can just, you know, just 
sit back and just enjoy my privacy. Because, you know, it does get a little bit crazy out there. A guy does need his privacy. Same thing with us girls. We also need our privacy, too. Which is why most of our castles have secret lounge re lounging rooms. Oh, they do? Mm-hmm. Not even, not even any of us know where our secret lounging rooms are. Oh, so neither of you guys know where your lounging rooms are? Nope. Hmm, well that's cool. Well that's cool. Well, trust and believe me, <laughs> if I do find out where your lounging rooms are, I promise I won't tell the other. Well, good luck with that because we're not going to show you. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down, Luna. Calm down. Anyway, let's see another room. Let's see another room. Oh, now this looks interesting. Oh, um, by the way, guys, you guys are probably wondering how the world are we traveling from room to room really fast? Um, Twilight is doing a uh, teleportation spell for us, so that way instead of just walking all the way down the hallways and stuff, it's uh, pretty crazy. Uh, but anyway, but anyway, what's this room? This was actually a room I worked on. Oh, what is it, Twilight? This is your lab. My lab? Mm-hmm. I heard from Tails that sometimes you're a really good engineer, and you're also really good with magic and chaos energy. So I thought maybe this lab can be perfect for you to do some experiments and trying to see if you can combine your chaos energy with magic. Oh, well, that's cool. I'm not going to lie. That's actually really great because, you know, I've been wanting to try this over on Mobius, but I was worried that I might blow up Tails' workshop by accident. So, yeah, I don't want to be doing that. I don't want to do that. Well, don't worry. I'm sure Tails would, you know, <laughs> appreciate the attempt, but just as long as you don't blow up his workshop. Trust me, I really don't want to blow up his workshop. <laughs> I really don't. Because trust me, that thing's been through a lot already. Uh. But anyway, I think I can create some cool spells in here and work on some cool inventions and all sorts of other stuff. It looks really, really nice in here. <laughs> it looks great. So, you ready to see another room? Yeah, I'm ready. Twilight, go ahead and teleport us. Okay, here we go. Okay, we are here and <laughs> let me guess. We're in a kit. We're in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Wow, I'm not gonna lie. This kitchen actually looks really nice, and it looks like an exact copy of your kitchen, Twilight. That's because it is. You see, we never exactly been to the kitchen in Canterlot, so I just thought maybe you would like my kitchen. Well, I do like it a lot. It looks really cool. It looks really cute. It looks cute and nice. And I guess I can uh. Work really hard in here, making some of my delicious treats. Yeah, because after all, I do know how to cook. I do know how to cook a lot. And uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Pinkie Pie and I are definitely going to have a lot of fun, you know, working on a few uh, things out here. It's uh, pretty interesting, really. <sighs> it's really cool. Anyway, any other rooms? Let's see. Uh, whoa. What the heck is this place? It looks all dark and dreary. Hold up. Hold up. Lights. There. Okay. Uh. Whoa. Is that a violin? Pictures? Uh, sheet music? Flame, welcome to your music room. Whoa. Uh, it looks nice in here, but it could use a little bit of, uh, <clears throat> dusting in here a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, okay, which one of you, okay, so which one of you was responsible for making this room? Um, I believe Chrysalis made this room. Oh, no, that explains why it's so green in here. That explains why it's so green in here. Ugh. Okay, well, despite the fact that Chrysalis did make this room, I do appreciate it. It just needs a little bit of fixing up a little and every and a little bit dusting every here and there. And I guess I can move in a few of my instruments in here. And I guess it will it will work, it will work, it will work. So uh Chrysalis, I know you're not here right now. If you're watching this, I just want to say thank you for the um attempt to uh make a music room for me. It just looks uh really interesting, I guess. But uh yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's see uh, another room. And, uh, 
Hopefully no changelings hatch out of here. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, let's see what we got. Whoa. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. I remember this room. Cadence. This is Flurry Heart's old room. Basically, this is was this was her room that she had when she was a baby. Yes. This is actually a nursery. Just in case you uh have any little ones. Oh, so you copied so you copied Flurry Heart's room. Well, her old room? Mm-hmm. Well, it really looks really nice in here. It looks nice and looks really comfortable. You got the crystal bed over there and the cabinets. It looks really nice. <laughs> you know, when you guys said you copied some of the rooms from out of your castles, you guys were not kidding. <laughs> so what the heck did you guys do? Well, we kind of used a copy spell, a copy and paste spell. Huh. I ain't never heard of that spell. Well, you'll learn it. Okay, well, anyway, it looks really nice in here. It looks really cool. It looks really cool in here. And, uh, let's see. Wow, the drawers are even stocked up with diapers and stuff. Yep, they're specially made for babies. Well, of course they are. I mean, who else is going to wear them? Me. <laughs> uh, sorry, that was a terrible joke. I'm sorry. But anyway, um, let's see another room. Let's see. Whoa, what's this room? This is a very, very special room. It's optional, but you, but you don't always have to come in here. This is your Canterlot High room. My Canterlot High room? What do you mean by that? Well, basically, this is a very special room that takes you to the portal, to the EG world. Oh yeah, I can see the portal. It's over there. Yep. So that way you can go in there whenever you like. But I fused both here and the canter and the and Canterlot High or the EG World. I fused them both. So why would I want to use this room? Well, think of it as a quick shortcut just in case you're late for school. Oh, I get it because the portal takes me right there. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I get it. Wow. I'm not going to lie. That's actually pretty good. It's actually really clever too. <laughs> so, and so if I'm late for school or class, I can just fly right through the portal and then boom, I'm over there in the EG world and right in front of the school. So all I got to do is just walk through the door and stuff. Hopefully Principal Celestia and Princess Luna, I mean, and hopefully Principal Celestia and uh, Vice Principal Luna don't get mad. Uh, I'm pretty sure our EG counterparts will understand. I like sure hope so. Uh, okay, well, anyway, let's see another room. Also, by the way, again, loving this, loving this, loving this tour. It's awesome. Anyway, let's see what else we got here. Whoa. Um, this is really huge. Uh... Twilight, this is an exact copy of your library. Mm-hmm. And it's also filled with not only books about equestrian history, but it's also filled with Mobian history. Where'd you get the books from? How'd you get the books from Mobian history in here? Oh, we talked to Silver. Oh yeah, I forgot. He is from the future, and he has traveled to and fro from history, so... <sighs> I guess he can actually help out with some of the books and stuff. But wait a minute. Since Silver is a time traveler, Twilight, do you think he might know about, you know, if Mobians and Equestrians did work together back then? Mm, maybe. I mean, he is a Mobian. Yeah, maybe. We'll find out. Someday. But, anyway, overall, it does look really nice. Yep, and each one of these books is also spell books as well. Wow, that's a lot of spell books. <laughs> well, don't worry. Because of me, they're all alphabetized. Oh, well, that's good. Because I'm definitely going to have one heck of a time trying to find a spell. Like, say, if I'm trying to uh, do a speed spell, I'm trying. it's not going to be easy looking through a whole mess of books. Twilight, I'm not gonna lie, your library is a whole lot more organized than mine. Cadence, come on. 
<laughs> yeah, because trust and believe me, when you guys were trying to go through all them books, trying to find, um, trying to find that one book to repair the Crystal Hearts, that was definitely funny. I'm not gonna lie, that was actually pretty funny. You guys just going through all sorts of different books trying to find the spell. <laughs> Ah, that was hilarious. Okay, but enough laughing, enough laughing. But still, it was still pretty funny. Flame, we have one more room left to show you. Um, okay. Well, since all of us have came together so very, very close, we became almost like family. And, of course, as we all know, in, the, uh, in here, in Equestria, we had the Council of Friendship. Yeah, of course. That's you. That of course that's you, Rarity, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, and Applejack, right? Right. And sometimes you know how the map also calls in outside ponies. Yeah, I remember that. Well, I thought maybe, just maybe, this. Uh, it's an exact copy of your meeting room. Uh huh. Well, <laughs> believe it or not, I would like for you to be a member of the Council of Friendship. Well, M me? A council member? But that's actually a huge honor. That's a huge honor. Yes, which is why I would like for you to place your hoof in the middle of the circle so that way it can scan your cutie mark. Whoa. Okay. Um, so what do I do? I just put my hoof here and... Ah! What the heck was that? It's okay. It's okay. That means it was working. Okay. <laughs> and it looks like I've been added. Wow. <laughs> yep. So now it works for both here and over at my castle. Whoa. Well, that's cool. Well... Thanks for the great castle. Oh, Flame, there's also one other thing that we forgot to mention. Oh? What's that? There's about six other rooms in here. There's about six other rooms in this castle, and we never exactly don't know what to do with them. We don't know what to do with them. Oh, well, I'm thinking maybe my flamethrowers can help. Hey, flamethrowers! Put down in the comments down below, what do you guys think should be the other six rooms? I'll tell you what you'll do, guys. Pick a room, and you guys can put down in the comments, what do you think the room could be? What do you think the room could be? Like, do you think it can be a art room, or like an art studio? Do you think it could be a trophy room, where I keep all my artifacts and stuff? Or do you think it could be a closet? Or like a changing room or something that has all my clothes in it. <laughs> so, yeah, it's up to you guys to pick out what do you guys think the room should be. Remember, there's six rooms in my castle. So, be sure to uh, pick a room and uh, we'll see what we get here. Uh, we'll see what we get. Anyway, princesses, I really do thank you so, so, so much for the castle upgrade. Thank you so much for the castle upgrade. And I promise I'm going to take really good care of this castle. And of course, if things go down in here, like if something gets broken, you know, I can easily fix it. <laughs> yes. Oh, and also, Flame. Yes. Believe it or not, Spike, he is also a messenger for you as well. Now that you're royalty, now that you're royalty here in Equestria, you can use Spike to send messages all over the place now. Oh. Oh, uh, that's cool. Or, if you like, Spike can teach you how to send your own messages. After all, you are part dragon. Yeah, and dragons can send messages with their smoke. That's actually pretty cool. So, yeah, I think I might do that. Hmm, it would be kind of nice to see Spike. I haven't seen him ever since Thanksgiving. Whew, that dragon sure can wolf down a turkey. <laughs> it's just uh, pretty crazy, right? Yeah, crazy. But anyway, glad you like the castle. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. And, well, 
Like I said, there's six rooms in here, guys. Be sure to put down in the comments what do you think each room should be. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and comment down below. And also, let me know in the comments down below which room in my castle did you guys like. Did you like the castle? I mean, did you like the castle itself? Did you like the copies of the bedrooms? Did you like the kitchen? Did you like the library? And did you like the meeting room? <laughs> it's actually pretty nice in here. I really do like it in here a lot. I might be spending a lot of time in here. Anyway, anyway, um, uh, it's actually really nice. Oh, and the uh, flame? Yeah. There's also one other thing that we forgot to mention. It's something outside. Huh? We actually made you a garden. Oh, really? Yes, and it's also filled with all sorts of different statues. From, e from villains to our friends. Wow, that's cool. Wait a minute, don't tell me the Discord statue is out there. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, man. And wait a minute, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. What about, the, wait, what about the statue that you, uh, that you, Luna, and Discord turned T-Rex, Cozy Glow, and Chrysalis into? Is that statue out there? Yes, it's out there. And, wait a minute, most importantly, that, that statue that was outside the castle in the future, where, uh, <laughs> where Twilight, you were helping Fluster Dawn, that cat, that, 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 that statue of you and your friends. Is that out there? Mm-hmm. That statue's out there, too. And I can't believe you remember that. <laughs> yeah. By the way, you, have you ever talked to your future self yet? No, not yet. I heard that she's very busy sometimes. Oh. Well, I'm pretty sure she'll be... Okay. After all... After all, you guys are the same pony. <laughs> Anyway, hopefully, and if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, so that way you guys will be up to date whenever I post, and keep an eye out tomorrow, even though I didn't make it today, be sure to keep an eye out tomorrow when me and Twilight try and figure out if Mobians and Equestrians have worked together in the, in the, pa in the, in the past, because I don't know for sure if we have or not, but... You guys see how close we are today. You guys see how close we are today. It's uh, really nice. Oh, and also, Flame, one other thing. If you want to add a room, all you have to do is just do a spell. Oh, well, okay. What's the spell? Oh, you'll learn it one day. Oh, well, thanks for the heads up. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed my castle tour. And again, put, be sure to put down what you guys think those six rooms ought to be. Anyway, this is Flame the Dragon Hog, or should I say Prince Flame the Dragon Hog, the Prince of Power out here in Equestria, <laughs> signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers!